Hey, good evening, everybody. Uh, I finally got my parts for the O29. Uh, it's a Monday evening. Um, kind of got some free time, so I figured, what the hell, let's break into it. So, this is what we got going on for it. The, sorry, camera work here. So here's the old oil pump. Seized up. Can't move it. Okay. Here's the new one. Uh, moves nice. Um, focus, baby. Still, still OEM. I uh, already got the vent on it. Here's the old worm gear. Um, it looks fine, right? Except this. So when this one, when this pump failed, the worm gear sat here and spun itself loose. So, if you notice the gap in that, from there to there, don't mind my gross fingernails. And then you look at that gap, see how much bigger it is. And they're not supposed to spin. This is supposed to be clamped on there. So, that's our new one. Uh, our cage, or our needle bearing right here. Got our new one ready to go. Uh, here's the old one, you know, missing more than half the needles, so... Got all the good stuff. Um, I was talking with uh, Woodcutter44. He was working on an 029 that the chain was spinning. And this was the washer I was talking about. Um, my still dealer said that but for whatever reason, sometimes this washer will get left out. Or people are forget it. And then I guess it screws with the preload of the pump assembly and everything. So essentially it just keeps the clutch engage the whole time i'm not sure what the deal is but anyways this saw did not have it so i picked this up so that'll be going in the clutch is good um i cleaned up the the uh the drum here already the uh, woodcutter as well was having problems with his uh the needle bearing t being too tight in there so i already cleaned it up with some red scotch bright a little preliminary stuff. Um, just in case anybody's wondering, here's the part number for the oil pump. Um, it's the top number, the uh, 11276403204. That's the oil pump part number. Oh, golly, gimbal. Spun around on me, hold on here. Here. Here's the other part numbers for the worm gear. Top number the needle cage bearing and then the cover washer is that big black washer so there's the part numbers if anybody's interested and i'll uh clip my my gab in here and we'll try to get i already had you set up but now i'm trying to fumble with it again all right okay i'll try to get this uh oil pump and stuff thrown together real fast hopefully you all can see <clears throat> the one thing I didn't do, I didn't grab any tools yet, so that's a problem. I probably just need a T25. Okay. And the pump, I'm assuming, I'm probably going to want to get the oil line on first and then feed the the vent get the slab pulled out of that oh yeah oh yeah I might block your guys' view here for a second I'm gonna feed the oil pump vent on It's, it's easy to do if you have the muffler off uh, to get this vent. Hold on, this hose is digging with me. Yeah, you get this, uh, get the muffler off. It makes that vent much easier to get lined up. And you're going to have to 
We're gonna have to weeble, weeble wobble it on there a little bit because it's an O-ring fitting. But I don't want to do that yet until I get the oil line on. And of course, my fat fingers, I'm having a hard time doing it. This might be easier after the oil pump's already installed, but I don't know. Might be easier if I had my little clanky. Clampy or the gigs here too. Oh yeah, see? As soon as I quit fiddling with it, just put the purse down and did it. Okay. Okay, so we got the oil line on there. Now the vent. Like I said, this is the O ring. I'm going to try to be gingerly with this. This is the, it's an O-ring plastic so it's kind of snug it's just a, there we go there it went I kind of clicks in once you get it so once you get it you know and then it uh, the oil pump kind of got some recessed but anyway it just kind of once you get it, you feel it settle into place. So now that we got that, we're going to take our T27s here, our little guys, get them started. I already had this all cleaned up from the prior videos. I need to make sure I'm still in frame here, kind of. It's already kind of, not really. So... Uh, you know, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not sure. I should have on the muffler. How's that look? Not tea bag. I've had worse. I've had worse. So, yeah, we're just uh, getting that on there. You can kind of see what I'm dealing with here. Whoops. So, T27 here. There's another one here. This is the plastic vent I was just talking about with the O-ring. It leads to the front. Here's the the uh, oil line. Okay. I'm trying to make this informative and somewhat enter not entertaining, I guess, but you know, not boring as fuck. It's mainly informative. If you're into this sort of thing. I did not like how that one was feeling. I'm glad I took the time. See, that's why I don't like running them, running them in with power tools. Is, I don't know if you would have been able to feel that with a power tool. Um, like I use my little Bosch, my little Bosch handheld one. It works great for zipping them out. You know, zipping them in, but I always start them by hand. And I finish them by hand. I don't do high scale production, but even if I did high scale production, that's still how I would operate. Because I've seen even veteran mechanics strip screws with impacts and stuff. AKA my dad. Sorry, dad. I put you on blast for a little bit, but I've seen it happen. Okay, got the one pump in. Everything looks nice. Uh, the worm gear here. 
That should go reverse thread in. Okay. Feels good. Feels like it's moving the pump. Probably won't be able to see it, plus I have all the bar oil drained. Now this washer, the part number and everything is on the back top. And this side, I'm thinking that goes like that. And because, let's see. I think it goes like this. Why do I think that? I think that because I looked at a diagram and it showed that it was going that way. That was my first thing. Second thing is, seems like there's a little recess for it to ride on that worm gear. Um, so, I'm gonna call it that because that quartz has got a right up there and cinch on that clutches are always reverse thread right always never not oh yeah that's how that washer goes you can see it i'll try to get you guys in here so our black that big black plate washer is right here and there's the indents and stuff it you can tell that the clutch rides over it nice so we got it going in there the right direction um all we need to do is uh we just need to smack that clutch on there with an impact and get the bell on there and we should be ready to rock. Get my impact here. Uh, this is a three quarter or 19 millimeter, but probably three quarter. I have my exhaust plug out in case we roll this thing over. We don't eat this. So that's one thing to remember. One thing I need to remember. So we're gonna just smack it until it rolls over. Should be good enough. Um, I don't know, I could smack it another time on the compression stroke, but uh, these things don't take a lot, I don't think. I personally think if you put a lot of time on them, you're kind of just wasting your effort. And it's reverse threads, you know? You don't want it coming loose, but okay. And make sure we find our drive for our oilers. That's also what this line is, so you can use it to get it. Womp, womp. Okay. I'm gonna put my bearing on there, but first. I'm going to lube it. Um, this is a grease from my laser. I honestly don't know what it says. It's all in German, but it's good stuff. So I'm just gonna give it a little, a little dab will do. And then I like what uh, I like what woodcutter did. He just stuck his finger over it and I pushed it. I didn't hold it tight enough. 
work it in the needles. I don't want too much of it on there. good lube it stinks okay got that thing on there lubed get our dilly bob all lined up here are we good are we good or am i fooling Things being difficult, isn't it? Are you being difficult? Man, I can't tell if I got it or not. Hmm. I feel like that thing should sit a little more flush than that, but. Maybe not. All right, I need to, need to get this washer on there. The thing must be, oh yeah. Alright, that's all boogered up. Well, anyways, we're going to cut it there because uh, this is a pretty long video. But So all we have left to do is just put this washer on and the e-clip. And this thing should be ready to go. <clears throat> um, I'm going to get this thing finished up tonight. And then uh, tomorrow after work, I'll bring you guys back for a test run. And uh, we'll make sure this thing is oiling. And we'll make sure it runs good. Since I rebuilt the carb and stuff, we haven't even tried to start it. So, all right. Thanks for hanging in here this long if you have. Have a good night. We'll see you all later.